Good day to you friends and welcome back to our little house on the mountain. I pray that you are well out there and staying cozy. If you are new here and you enjoy this video, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe so that we can visit again. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. We always appreciate when you like the video and comment below. Today is going to be a bit of a vulnerable video, well for me anyways, and I hope it's also a helpful and encouraging video to you. It's vulnerable because I am a very private person and I am very intentional about what I share. But very recently I started sharing a little bit more. And the reason for that is that I know that people's stories, what we go through, our testimonies when we come out of things, I know that it can be really helpful and encouraging to other people to hear that there's hope. One, just thinking back on my past self when I had just such a feeling of hopelessness over the journey that I was going through, but also it's really just rooted in that verse from 3 John that says, Beloved, I pray that in all ways, in all respects, that you would prosper and be in good health as your soul also prospers. Today was actually not one of my best days. It was one of my harder days of my month that happens to me every month. But what I realized this morning is that the bad days that I have now were my good or average days years ago. I felt so bad all the time or so often that even the bad days I have now were close to the average days I was having back then. I just felt terrible. I know with my whole being that our bodies and our minds were designed to heal. Not only do I know that because the Word of God says it, that He heals all our diseases and that He redeems our life and that He crowns us with loving kindness, I know that to be true, but also because I've lived it and I, I, I have been in awe of what I've watched him do. And I have had doctors look me in the face and tell me that clinically speaking, my recovery is a miracle. I have had endometriosis for 26-ish years. And because of that, I also suffered with chronic pain, chronic migraines, very severe gut issues, um, very lowered immunity issues, autoimmune issues and a plethora of other things. And there was a point in time when I just thought my body was shutting down and it's just been night and day. So tonight is one of my exercise nights. I try to do that every other night, if not every three nights. And I know nighttime is not the ideal time to exercise, but with the schedule during the day, it just, that's when it happens to happen. And so what I do is I do a long stretching session first. I actually do more stretching than I do the strength training. But the first thing I do before I do anything else in my fitness routine at night, in my stretching routine, is I use one of these and this has been life-changing. I have been using this one from Zamet for about three or four years and it helped me to be able to maintain my chiropractic adjustments. It has helped realign my cervical spine. They have a new one of these and I was so excited and you guys the upgrade on this is it. So this is the one that I had for a really long time held up really great but this is the new one. 
See this little power button on the side? It's because this one, you guys, has heat. Heat. Now I use this for about eight to 10 minutes before I get into the rest of my stretching and workout routine, but I could lay on this thing for 20 to 30 minutes because it is so wonderful and so relaxing. You lay your head here and it helps to create that curve in the spine that so many of us have lost because of looking down at the phone or sitting at a desk. So let me just say, I am so grateful for this. Y'all made a great product. This has helped me so much. Genuinely want to thank Zam at Home for sponsoring today's video. These also come with a 10 year product warranty and a 100 night sleep free trial. So you can try it out and see if it works for you. They gave me a link and a discount code for you guys. All of that will be in the description box and pinned in the comments below. Thank you again, Zamet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really love this. Not allowing my feelings to become an idol or dictate what I know is my reality. Some might say, okay, well, it's a little delusional if you're feeling the pain and you're saying, I'm, I'm in process of healing, I'm in process of healing. The reality is that um, I refuse to allow the conditions or the pain to become an identity, a personality for me. It's just not true. Like God has already told me who I am in his eyes. And I just refuse to take the conditions on as a personality like I used to do years ago. So even though I have really hard moments and that's okay, that is okay. You don't have to be chipper and positive all the time. And I will come to him in tears, but I am always, always reminded that our emotions will deceive us and our thoughts will deceive us. And that is why it is so important to have a foundational reality that we can stand on, an identity that is rooted in something that is real and right and good. And so I'm rooting my identity in who God says I am and what he says is possible for me. So that when I'm having those really, really hard days, that is what I can go back to. I would love to hear in the comments what are some things that are part of your daily wellness routine that are non-negotiables for you or things that have been so beneficial. And if you have any questions, please also leave those in the comments below. As you can see, it's getting darker. The sun is going down behind the mountains and I'm going to go get a little extra rest because I, I definitely need it today. I'm going to soak my feet in some nice Epsom salts and hopefully get some good sleep tonight. I wanted to thank all of you as always for coming back to our little house on the mountain. If you want more information, please visit www.ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com. All of the information, including the discount code for Xamet will be in the description box and pinned in the comments below. We love you and we appreciate you so much. And Lord willing, I will see each and every one of you right here on the next one. Bye friends.